Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and this is another look at a series of settings and the settings app. They all have to do with connectivity, Wi-Fi and so on, uh, internet. So we will take a look at that today. So the first setting that we'll look at is the status page of your connection. How do you go there? Simply go to the quick action center on the uh, bottom right or and all settings of course or you can go to the start menu and the settings gear here you will go on to network and internet and here the first thing that shows up is the status page status page is here to show you your connectivity are you connected to the internet or not and what type of connection do you have and of course it has many settings that you can tweak like I said, these are general going through the settings. We will have videos that will actually go specifically to each setting and actually tell you even more details on each of these settings. The first thing you'll see is the network that you're connected to. So if you're connected, you'll see what is an icon of a uh, Ethernet jack. If you're on Wi-Fi, you see these little waves of uh, the kind of radio waves if you want tells you the name of the network where you're connected. Mine is Creation Tube 5G. Then, private network, type of network. It could be public or private. If you're at home, technically you're in a private network. If you're on a connection that is public, you should be at public network. It's very important to make a difference here. It says you're connected to the internet. If you're not, it tells you you're not connected to the internet because you could be connected to a network, but not necessarily connected to the internet. Then you have information about Wi-Fi. That is from the last 30 days, how much data that you actually use. So this tells you from this connection, I've used 125 gigabytes in the past 30 days. You have a properties button. That properties button goes to all the different properties and options that are available. I'm not going to click on it now because we're going to go in a specific video for the properties um, uniquely because there's a lot of things in there. And I don't want to actually add too much information in each video so that it's kind of easier for everybody to understand. And of course, you've got a data usage button that will actually give you all the information about the usage of the internet that you might have. And we're going to look at that also in a specific video. You can click show available networks. This will actually show you all the networks that are available around where you are. And typically on wireless, you'll often see uh, a lot of other networks around you. These are your neighbors and, and, and you know all the different connections. If you're in a public area, all the public networks available. Then you've got advanced network settings these are change adapter options these are going to be looked at very specifically but there's a lot of tweaking that you can do with your uh, Wi-Fi or Ethernet adapter including all, a, a lot of tweaking of settings sometimes you have to use specific settings for example to connect to a, a, a specific network uh, rather than use general settings Network and sharing center. This is where everything is happening. If you want to actually share your connection, if you want to uh, use the network and share a printer, share uh, folders, all sorts of things like that. Network troubleshooter. If for some reason you try to connect, it doesn't work, or it connects, but it says no internet, you can try the network troubleshooter. It's going to actually do a scan and try to pin down automatically what exactly is wrong with the connection then you have view hardware and connection properties which will bring you to this uh, page with all the ip address and all the network properties of your hardware on your pc be it wi-fi be it ethernet be it whatever other types of connectivity you have the windows firewall that you can actually bring up this will bring up the firewall we'll look at that in a specific video the Windows Firewall is there to protect you. It's there to block incoming connections that are unwanted and uh, outgoing connections also. And just let through what is important. Now, this is important to have turned on, but you have one if you have a router or a modem that has a router, you probably have one that is even better. 
as hardware um, hardware firewalls are usually better than uh, software firewalls like here in Windows. And finally, you've got network reset. You got a problem, something's just not working right. Reset now will restart your PC and will reinstall all the network adapters. If you just can't connect, if something's wrong and you have no idea why and you can't connect to the internet, that is going to reset every adapter and reinstall it brand new and remove all the settings that could have been um, tweaked with these adapters. Sometimes a good reset of the adapters is all that's needed to actually have everything working again. Some software sometimes will change some of the settings, especially if you use third-party antivirus software that have firewalls. Uh, there's often a case where these are actually tweaking the settings of the adapter, and you don't know why, but when you remove the software, then suddenly you have no more internet that will enable you to try to fix everything. Of course, you'll have to reconnect to your Wi-Fi networks if you uh, and, and know the password if you do this. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.